Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Since the onset of the pandemic, people are taking extra precautions to stay safe and be prepared. But when it comes to food and nutrition during these times, thousands of individuals and families across our state need help and support. And good information is available from UVM Extension. Extension operates the expanded food and nutrition education program known as FNEP for short. FNEP is a federally funded mandate that works hand in hand with local partners to serve limited income Vermonters. FNEP programs serve eligible parents, caregivers, expecting mothers, as well as children and teens to lead healthier lives through hands-on nutrition education. And now Vermont FNEP is offering an important new program to help you and your family be healthier and more food secure. To learn more about the program, we are joined by Amy Davidson. Amy is the UVM Extension FNEP Director. Good afternoon, Amy, and thanks for being with us. Hi, Fran. Thanks for having me. So because, yeah, because of the pandemic, you know, you're now offering a distance um, nutrition program. Um, it's called Eat Smart and More, Move More. So tell us about that program and how it's delivered. Sure. Um, and that's right. Normally our programming would happen one-on-one -on -one in person, but the need to be physically distant right now has created this opportunity for us to offer Eating Smart and Moving More online. And this program was actually developed for FNEP at North Carolina State University. Hmm. And it's a perfect fit for both our FNEP and SNAP education funded programs here in Vermont. And a little bit about how it works. It's hosted on the eExtension campus um, platform. It's an online learning platform. Uh, the, the program consists of six self-led video lessons that are each broken into short snips of uh, instruction, recipe demonstration, and exercise videos. And then that is augmented with live sessions with a local extension nutrition educator, either by phone or video chat. And that gives people a chance to be supported by our educators through the course, to ask questions, maybe even be connected to other resources that they might be looking for. And when the course is complete, we mail a certificate of graduation, a nutrition reference book that has lots of great recipes and other useful information and a strength training band so people can continue their progress. And uh, in terms of who it's for, if you are eligible for Three Squares Vermont, WIC, Head Start, or a similar program, or maybe just depending on the town you live in, you might be eligible for this free course, so. That's fantastic, so, so it's online, you have technical help, um, participants can consult with a UVM Extension nutrition ed educator, which is fabulous. So you also have a little bit of a curriculum, what will people learn? There are like, there are six um, major lessons. Sure, um, so they'll learn tips and skills to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Uh, they'll learn doable ways to work activity into every day strategies for shopping and meal planning that can save time and money, but also at the same time improve nutrition. And then there are lots of easy, no cost and family friendly recipes that people will will learn through the demonstration videos, but also have access to as a result of the course. Great. So one of the main takeaways of the program is making meals at, at home um, that are nutritious and keep you on budget. So there's a there's a video that that helps us see see some of the the programming that you have. Hello, my name is Heidi. Welcome to Families Eating Smart and Moving More. Thank you for joining me for this session. Today, we'll talk about how to plan, know what's for dinner. Planning is the first step when it comes to feeding our families. Once we have a plan, we can shop for and fix our meals. Then the best part, eat and enjoy. Planning and cooking meals at home can save us time, money, and help us to choose healthier options. And those healthier choices can help us maintain a healthy weight and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. If we plan our meals ahead of time, it is much easier for us to eat smart at home as a family. But when we don't plan, we're more likely to end up getting unhealthy meals on the go. When we eat out, we usually eat larger portions, more calories, fat, sugar, and salt. We often don't get enough fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products when we eat out either. 
Let's compare homemade stir fry to a meal from a takeout restaurant. Not only is this homemade meal healthier, it's also much cheaper. If you made this meal at home and served it with a glass of milk, it would cost about $3 per person. When ordered out, it could cost up to $10 and have much more fat, calories, and sodium. Think about how the extra calories, fat, sodium, and dollars can add up over time. Whether you're preparing meals at home just one night a week or each night, this lesson will give you some tips to make meal planning easier. Okay, great, great video. And I want to introduce a Vermonter who has graduated from this program, the Eat Smart and Move More program, Britt Tominski. Um, I want you to wel welcome you um, to our program this afternoon. Why did you take the program? Britt, are you there? Oh, there you yep. are. Hi, <laughs> hi, Britt. So tell us about why you took the program. I took this program because it sounded interesting and inspiring to me. I believe it is important for our overall health to try and choose healthier foods, exercise daily, and control our portion sizes. Great. So, so what did you, what what did you find like most helpful that you learned from the Eat Smart and and Move More for you and and your son, your family? Well, I am trying to use coupons more and shop sale items, mm. as well as making my son's plate and my plate half fruits and veggies. Mm. And instead of choosing juice to drink, trying to choose more water or milk on a daily basis. And I've also been trying to walk a mile a day to help wow. relax my body and reflect on life. Oh, that's, fan that's fantastic and, and a, lot of, a lot of shifts. So what would you want to share with other Vermonters um, to maybe encourage them to take this program? I would like to share that if you're interested in nutrition or exercising, sh trying to shop smarter, anything along those lines, I would absolutely recommend this program to any Vermonters out there looking to live a better and healthier lifestyle. Britt, you're awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we want to go Thank to you. one of the, you know, clearly a key component is budgeting. So we'll take a quick look at um, this video uh, that compares stir fry to takeout. Stir fry is a tasty way to add extra vegetables to your day. I'm going to show you a recipe that uses a low sodium homemade stir fry sauce. Before beginning, be sure to wash your hands and sanitize your work surfaces. Read the recipe and collect all the ingredients and cooking supplies that you'll need and place them on the counter. Combine the water, sodium free beef bouillon, apple cider vinegar, molasses, ground ginger, garlic powder, a dash of pepper, and cornstarch. Bring the mixture to a boil, stirring constantly, then simmer gently for five minutes. To make the stir fry, choose a variety of colorful vegetables. I'm using a half cup of five different vegetables so my family gets a good variety. Today, I'm using fresh vegetables from the local farmer's market. Make sure to wash the vegetables to remove any dirt or debris. Cut the vegetables into small, evenly sized pieces. I usually have my children help with cutting the softer vegetables like yellow squash and mushrooms. Place half a cup of each vegetable in separate bowls near the skillet. Add a small amount of oil to a large frying pan so the vegetables have room to move around as they cook. Turn the stove on high heat. Add the vegetables, starting with the firmest vegetables first so they have longer to cook. I will add the cauliflower and carrots first. Once these have cooked for a bit, I will add the peppers, mushrooms, and yellow squash. Use two large spoons to toss the vegetables so they don't stick. Once cooked, the vegetables should still be crisp and retain their bright color. Stir the sauce again to make sure the cornstarch is mixed in. Pour half of the sauce over the cooked vegetables and mix. 
Serve over brown rice or whole wheat noodles for a veggie packed meal your whole family can enjoy. So I'm going to bring back Amy Davidson now um, to, to talk about the exercise portion of this program, because clearly that's also very important. Amy? I think most of us know that nutrition and physical activity go hand in hand as part of a healthy lifestyle. And that's why in this course, each video lesson has a demonstrated approachable activity that's modifiable. So pretty much anyone can do some version of them and they don't require any special or costly equipment either. And um, what's been really great for us to get as feedback is that a lot of participants like Britt, you know, shared, shared her um, experience are making small changes to be more active, like walking more, um, playing more active games with kids or uh, maybe starting a strength based exercise routine for the first time in their lives. So, um, it's been great to get that feedback. It, it is wonderful. I find I'm, I'm walking a lot more, which is great. It was great to hear that Britt is walking a mile a day. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll all come out of this, um, at least people from your program, with better habits. So th thank you so much. Um, we've been focusing today on Eating Smart and Move More, which is offered by UVM Extension, Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program. Um, Amy, how can people get more information? Well, they can visit our website, which I think you have on the screen right now, or, or follow UVM Extension's FNEP on Facebook. Uh, in addition to finding out more about this course, um, people can access um, the survey link to enroll and see if they're eligible. They can, um, we have lots of recipe resources, tip sheets for everything from limiting salt and sugar in your yeah. diet to um, a 14 day shopping plan. Awesome. That so check it out. Um, Amy and Britt, thank you so much for uh, letting us know more about FNEP and your programs. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Britt. Thank you. And thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay well. Mm -hmm.